So before I start, let me just tell you what esports are. Esports are any form of competitive gaming, any sort of game you can play for some kind of reward. Should it be money or a signed Sachin Tendulkar bat? And any game that can be played in this mode would be called an esport. Let's keep that the last of the facts, and let me tell you a story instead. About a year to a year and a half ago, there I was, 15 year old Keshav, squeaky voice, wearing shorts, tiny. But the thing is, I was at New York. Why? To watch the Fortnite World Cup. It was a video game that I loved playing, and I still do. The event was the headline, the front page of every newspaper, from news reports to interviews to advertisements, and everything covering all of them covering the fact. That a World Cup for gaming was going to be hosted. We go into the we go into the arena, a football stadium that had been converted. It was a large audience sitting on the perimeter of a tall tower, stacked from top to bottom with the best players in the world. They played about twelve games, lasted about a day, until a winner was crowned. There he is, sixteen-year-old Buga, and but the thing is, he was now three million dollars richer. It hit me then and there that we both were the same. We were both the same age. We were both playing the same game, and we both had the same opportunity. It could have very well been me holding that trophy. Only I wish. The way the variable he had invested his time to the game, trying to get better, learning new strategies, just involving his sense, gaming sense. Whereas I, on the other hand, was just your classic weekend player. It struck me that if a teenager could be making double, triple, or quadruple the salary of both his parents combined. And why is it that esports is a career that is frowned upon, and that gaming is nothing more than just a hobby? Think about it this way: about 30 years ago, the basic formula of life was become either a lawyer, a doctor, an engineer, or a businessman. That's easy, and that's very simple. The thing is that if our parents told their parents that I want to become a stand-up comedian, or I want to become a model, or I want to become a guitarist, they would probably be laughed upon. and they would tell them to go to the side and say that one day you will grow up come to today's time and you would be shocked to know that these are some of the most sought after careers and that everyone is trying to become the next Shawn Mendes or the next Kendall Jenner why because the times have changed people view people's views their opinions and their general perception of a career has changed similarly the world is now technologizing what we do today in the near future will probably be done by some kind of Computer or some kind of robot. Any middle class or higher family that you walk into will probably have a phone per person, a computer, a laptop, two televisions, a gaming system, headphones, earphones, speakers, and probably one of those Alexa home devices. And as so, and as sad and as sad it, as it may sound, and as much as you may want to abuse these uh, these devices for their addictiveness. You must instead stop cribbing and embrace the fact that the world is changing and at a rapid pace, for that matter. A rapid pace. And the thing is that the world is changing, right? And that there are thousands of new viewers, thousands, thousands wanting to watch this kind of e-sport content. There are thousands of new games being developed for these viewers, and there are thousands of new gamers wanting to play these games. And that is the golden triangle of e-sports, which the world needs to understand, but they don't. The thing. But they don't because the thing is that there are so many parents out there that don't realize this, and my message goes out to them because the thing is that there is someone out there, someone who could have been the face of esports, someone who could have created all of these audiences that esports has, but instead he or she is now 25, giving their lawyers exam and is unhappy. Why? Because 10 years ago he asked his parents if he could become the next, if he could become a professional gamer, and his parents told him no, and they locked up his equipment and told him to go study and be more realistic. as parents they demonize technology and cast it away when instead the children of generations to come are going to be living in a more technology centric world if you rewind my story from the start you will be baffled to realize the number of opportunities that esports has created from advertisements to catering to tourism and travel to so many tickets such a big venue a basic general growth in the economy all because of esports all because of it i'm not labeling parents as being unsupporting or controlling when instead kudos to you all because you all are more you all are more supporting than ever but all i'm asking you is for you to broaden your horizon a little bit more and touch those touch those careers that are up and coming careers that you probably shunned out because they were crazy 
Because what I want to tell you is that esports is more than a CD. A video game is more than just some download or like some file that's sitting on your computer. It's a potential business of every new idea, and it doesn't make sense for parents to force their kids to live in a reality that is dead. A reality that probably their child should pass in, but a reality that will be boring old news in the future to come. As much as you may try to negate me and argue with me, you would all be guilty if you just admitted that you made your fantasy league every IPL match or you played your Ludo game every night because these are all esports. And you're probably shocked, and I can use that to tell you that esports are bigger than you think. But what I will tell you is that esports has not reached its full potential yet. As, pre- as President John F. Kennedy once said, "The children of today are the future of tomorrow." And from the way I see it. the world may just be moving to get its tech savvy makeover and i may have just given you one of the golden tickets to success take it or leave it